name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a wedding band in Illustrator. So <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an ellipse. Um, and I'm going to use black as the stroke, just so it's easy to see. And you can go to the ellipse tool and select that. Um, and make sure you have a couple layers. Um, I'm going to do this one in the middle layer. I'm just going to draw my ellipse. And now, um, to be true to the ring shape, we're going to have to adjust this circle a little bit. So go to the direct selection tool and select an anchor point and just mess around with it a little bit just so that you can get that um, more, I guess, uh, slightly more rectangular edge. And so, um, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is draw a rectangle over half of your ring with the direct selection tool and just select delete and this will delete half of what you've drawn. So that way we can just make it um, reflect and be the same shape. And the way I did that was I, I held down control or right click, you go to transform reflect and vertical reflection and so we have this shape here now I'm going to draw another ellipse more of an oval shape and this one we won't really have to mess with um, and so you're going to want to stretch this out so it matches on both sides um, and in my case it doesn't so I'm going to adjust it a little bit more okay so here we have the basic shape so um, now, as, as you can see, as I'm clicking these, it has two different parts. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle over the top with the selection tool, not the direct selection tool. And then you're going to go to Pathfinder, which is usually in the right corner. But if it's not, just go to Window, and Pathfinder should be right there under Navigator. And I'm going to make it so that this piece is excluding, or sorry, I'm going to make it so that this is one shape. So you're going to go to the left, and right here there's the Unite button, and that's going to make it so that your ring shape is one full um, shape and not a couple. So now I'm going to fill this with a color, and we're actually going to fill it with gradient when it's finished, but right now I'm just going to select a color so I can understand um, where everything sits. So right now, as you can see, uh, this is filled in. So you're just going to select all of this. We'll make sure, first of all, that this ellipse has nothing on the inside of it. And the way you do that is if there is a color, just select your fill and then select the None um, button. And so then you're going to select all of the shape, and you're going to click the minus front, which is right here. It's right next to the Unite button. And this is going to make it so that it excludes any color or anything from the inside. So now we've got our ring shape. And I'm going to now add another layer, um, or go to a layer I've already added. And I'm going to select the pen tool. And just make sure that your fill is empty. And select the pen tool, and just um, make a curved line so that you get that sort of um, 3D look to your ring. And right now, I'm actually going to take that and make it a little bit higher, so that way it looks more like a ring. And then, uh, so now that you know where it is, you're going to hold down Option with the Selection tool and just pull it. And then you're going to actually um, you're gonna make something like this. So you're going to have a copy of the line that you've made. And so go back to the Pen tool and select the end anchor points, and then um, Go back to the selection, click the artboard, and then go back to pen tool and do the same thing on the other side. And the reason you're doing this is because if you were to do that, um, if you were to not select the artboard and you were to just continue using the pen tool, it might change the shape like so. So um, now we're going to fill this with this color. And since it's underneath, we're just going to put it right here on top. And so you might be able to see it a little bit, so um, we're just going to... Okay, so now you've got this shape. And if, if for whatever reason, you, 
in my case, I'm not really happy with how this is looking, so you can go back to the direct selection tool and you can select one of your anchors and you can um, adjust this curve so that way um, it's more curved to your liking. And uh, I'm going to make it so it's a little bit more curved to my liking. And all right, I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to zoom out. All right, so now we've got our ring shape. And what we're going to do now is add some gradient to it to make it look a little more realistic. So just select it all. And you can select the gradient button, which is down here. And this will fill in your shape with a gradient. And you actually don't want a radial gradient. You want a linear gradient. So you go to linear. And the cool thing about the gradient tool is when you click if you look when you're on this bar, this bar determines what colors you're going to use to, to make a gradient. So when you put your arrow on the bottom, it'll have a little plus sign. You just click and add about four more. And so what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that the colors are a little different. And we're going to make it so it's more of like a linear ring-like uh, glow. OK. And then. You can uh, add white, and if you want to darken, oops, if you want to darken this gray a little bit, you can, just so it has a little bit more of a uh, depth. I'm just gonna fix that up, and there you have your wedding band ring. My name is Alex Cecilio, and this is how you create a wedding band drawing in Illustrator. Thank you very much.